Hey guys, it's Devil. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys had a great St. Patrick's Day. This is going to be uploaded tomorrow and I'm going out tonight, so you guys won't see it till tomorrow. So I hope you guys had a great St. Patrick's Day. I'm going over my spec right now. This is the Krogan Sentinel Tricks and Tips video. You might want to pay attention to my Rage build. The most important thing I can say in this class is make sure that you have at the end of the tree the ability that increases or decreases the rage kills required to go into rage mode. Normally it's three, make sure you have that ability so that it's only two because on gold, which I'm playing on, it's a lot harder to get kills. Now I can say for this class, this class is extremely fun against the reapers. The reapers don't have shields so it's a lot easier to smack them around with your melee. They have a lot of low B adds like um, swarmers and husks that, and cannibals that you can use to quickly build up your rage or you know get those first two kills to get your rage going this whole beginning of the this whole beginning of the video is just me going on a rampage with rage like taking marauders out in two hits like that really quick you know, cannibals die in one hit as long as you're in rage mode if you're not in rage they won't unless you have some nice upgrades now for your loadout you always want to have the spike thrower it's up to you if you want to bring a second weapon this class is extremely good for second weapons. It's even better than a soldier. This is the best run and gun type class. You know, if you want to play with your weapons and just go melee face first, it's the funnest class by far. It's way better than the soldier. Right now, you guys are pretty sure you guys have noticed the soldier sucks pretty bad. I hope they get it, they buff it because it's kind of a fun class to play. But you're. The way you play this class, it's kind of like rock, paper, scissors. You're always going to have your tech armor on. You can see the tooltip right now. You're always going to have that on. And since you're a sentinel, having the tech armor on increases your melee by 20 or 30 percent extra damage. So this guy even, even hits harder than the Krogan Soldier. Just having a tech armor on, and he absorbs more damage. So he's better in every way. Now, the way I, why I say it's rock, paper, scissors is there's always a certain thing that you should do for per situation. You're not going to run up and melee banshees to death. You're just not going to do it. You can get maybe one in and you're pushing it if you do. So you're going to always use your spike thrower for that. It rips armor to shreds. It's extremely against, good against brutes. I personally like in meleeing brutes down, but it's probably not the smartest idea. The spike thrower is also really good for that. You also want to use your grenades and lift grenades against unshielded enemies like husks or cannibals or stuff like that and then your inferno ability I forget the name of it incinerate I believe your incinerate is used for basically breaking the water breaking the ice when you're running into an enemy situation and you, instead of just running head into fire head on into enemy fire you can shoot that into the crowd it'll cause a knockback and give you that extra second without being shot at be able to run in. It's also great for softening up enemy targets. You see me use it on brutes like crazy this video. You also you want to use it against banshees. Now there you see me just use incinerate. He's gonna get hit harder now. If I'm in rage mode that's even better. You can like literally three shot or four shot but it's all extremely fast for a brute. Whenever you're running around always make sure you're charging that spike thrower. What that allows you to do is run around the corner you have a fully charged up spike, shoot the brute, inferno the brute, nade the brute, and then melee him. Do a heavy melee twice or three times and the brute will die. That's all you gotta do. If you get a headshot in, he'll die even faster. You know, if you get a fully charged headshot in after you incinerate a brute, it'll take him down by half health. It's extremely good, it's extremely fun. This class is extremely good against the Reapers. I don't talk about the other classes too much because it's not that great against Cerberus because, you know, sh Guardians fuck you up, their melee is hard. It's hard to shoot a spike launcher through the shield, a little slat in the shield, so you got to really rely on your teammates if they're going to play this class against those other guys. It's not very good against taking down shields, so the Geth and their flame troopers are kind of annoying for this class because your melee is what you use for heavy troopers. You can, you can get away with it though, but if you're playing Sentinel, and you're fighting against Geth, you probably want to use a Turian because Overload is great for taking out shields and you can kind of stay farther back. And But this this is probably the best class uh, just for mowing down tons of enemies, or tons of Reapers. As you can one shot and heavily support your team, rely on your team to help you kill Banshees because Banshees are kind of a bitch for you. 
but everything else you just dom you just absolutely dominate. It's an extremely fun class. Now, my channel is getting a lot bigger, and I'm gonna keep trying to get this content out for you guys because I'm noticing a lot of people like my Mass Effect content. I really appreciate you guys sharing the content. I put out a Diablo 3 recruitment video. I'm recruiting some friends, trying to build a small community of players that are serious about Diablo 3. I already have my Legendary Edition pre-reserved. I had it pre-reserved months ago, you know. Uh, anybody else that would like to play with me, I, I love playing with my fans. I've met a couple fans. I've featured them in other videos, if you guys have been watching my videos. And I really appreciate the community that's been building and all the support you guys have been giving me. Now, if you guys want to join that Diablo community, make sure you go to that video. I'm going to put it a video response or in the description, either, either one. You can go check out that video. You leave a couple com a comment telling me what class you want to play first, why you're going to play it, are you serious about Diablo, do you want to make money in Diablo, stuff like that. I'll still be making Mass Effect content for you guys. I'm going to exhaust everything so you guys can see all the classes, get tricks and tips. You know, I just put out a world first for Reapers on Gold. I have another video that I'm going to be making soon where I'm going to do a. Uh, I'm going to get a couple good friends and we're going to do a Krogan Gold Challenge. You can look up that video. It's it's four Krogan Sentinels or four Krogan Soldiers, and you gotta uh, take on gold of any class. But I think Reapers is probably the hardest. So four Krogans just grunting their happy asses off and meleeing everything. Should be a good time. Make sure you guys check in, subscribe, like, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Thanks a lot, guys. This is Devil. Happy late St. Patrick's Day, and I will talk to you later. Oh, and before I forget, lift grenades are also good against Ravagers. You pop all their sacks and chuck the grenade, it'll kill all the, ra or the uh, swarmers immediately. So, yeah, thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Bye.